So for those of you that don't know, everybody's favorite computer company officially filed for bankruptcy. And there's the re-roll. But I'm not here to remind you about the fact that they didn't give a PC to somebody because they didn't have enough clout and subsequently let themselves get canceled as if they were content creators rather than a company. I did it in a sh stupid way. I'm here to tell you about their public auction. You see, when a company files for bankruptcy, that is their way of saying that we don't have enough money to pay off the existing debts that we have. So all of their assets get seized and are oftentimes auctioned off by a bank or other government businesses to help pay off those debts. Artesian Builds tweeted out that their public auction is June 21st, which as of the time of this recording is tomorrow. I was made aware of this while I was live on stream. They're selling off their PCs? We can go to an auction for their PCs? Now, if you take a look at the Dropbox link in their tweet, you can actually see a full inventory list of everything they are selling. And to be honest, they have a lot of cool stuff. They even have like 40 wooden PC cases, which I personally would love to get my hands on. But let me warn you first before you start asking how to buy this stuff, because unless you're looking to start a PC company, you can't. No, Chris, they're auctioning all of the assets of Oakland in a single lot and all of the assets of North Carolina in a lot. Holy shit, all right, so we have to buy the whole thing. They are only auctioning off three separate lots. California facilities inventory, North Carolina's facilities inventory, and lastly, their intangibles. Now, before we get into the value of all this, I just want to show you again how much of a shit show this company actually was. Because if you are going to buy these lots, you will be acquiring multiple PCs that were meant for content creators who signed contracts with Artesian Builds for a partnership. And some of these content creators even paid money on top of their sponsorship that they were receiving from Artesian. And all of them had their communities exploited by Artesian for more money than was even negotiated on the contract. And these streams are basically a way to show the partner build, but also for them to get subs and stuff and they encourage this by putting those milestones that people do during subathons. If you don't know what I mean or haven't watched the previous video, allow me to explain. Artesian would reach out to content creators and offer a computer and rarely money as well in exchange for advertisement for their PC building services. Artesian would then build that computer on their live stream. The really gross thing they would do is ask those streamers to raid them while they were building their PC, which is incredibly taboo. And then they would tell the viewers of that streamer that we will upgrade your streamer's PC see if you give us money. So if you're a content creator who has just sent over your entire fan base that you have spent so much time working on being told that you're going to have your computer upgrade, how are you supposed to feel? Now you're telling me that you couldn't even give me the best computer you had. Now you're going to milk my community for more money to make me a better computer? What were you gonna give me in the first place? What happens if we don't hit that goal? Are you sending me shit? Just that tactic alone is incredibly ugly and it did not get enough attention for how gross it really was. Because I am still sitting here wondering how a company was allowed to file for bankruptcy and yet all this extra money that they constantly milked from their partners' communities, where did it go? Where is that money? So if we, for example, take a look at Rami's tweet, who is one of the streamers that contracted a deal with Artesian, he says, not only does Artesian Builds owe us money, the community gifted almost 5,000 subs during my build, and they said they can't send me my PC. And in case you don't understand what 5,000 Twitch subs looks like in an actual dollar amount, it is at the very least $12,500. Is there any legal action these content creators could take? Because I legitimately don't know. And the thing is, Rami isn't the only one. Nick and Milena's Twitch moderator, who was promised a custom Kirby-wrapped PC, also didn't receive their PC. This computer can also be found pictured in the inventory list. And to make it even better, there are more content creator PCs that are being sold in this auction that are not even being pictured. I've had a few streamers reach out to me asking me if this new PC company that was started by ex-employees of Artesian, people that were not involved with the downfall of Artesian, is even worth dealing with because they still haven't received the PC that they were promised. Anyways, I expect the lot in California to go from anywhere from 50 to $100,000 and the lot in North Carolina to go from anywhere of $100,000 to $200,000. Everything in here. Why do they have... <laughs> Were people living there? If you're wondering why there's that big of a difference in the prices, that's because we've come to find out that in the California location, they were trying to play content creator, whereas in North Carolina, they were actually doing a lot of the real work for the company, building computers that were going to customers. Thermal paste. <laughs> but what I really wanna show you is that funny little lot at the end 
the intangibles. At first glance, if you were to buy the slot, all you'd be getting is the name of the company, the website, the trademark for their logo, and some bonuses. Those bonuses are a customer list with 10,000 names, a list of 1,000 social media influencers' emails, and then a receivable account in the amount of $20,500 from soft giving. Now, number one, that customer list is the most valuable of the three, but is not guaranteed to be actually worth anything. The reason being is that those customers are people who have bought a PC and probably won't need one for a few years. And having heard everything that happened with Artesian Builds, they are probably going to be incredibly wary when it comes to buying a computer in the future. Now, you could try and sell that data to a marketing company who would try to sell them peripherals like mice, keyboards, or streamer gear that would make them millionaires overnight and just from their basement. But again, there's no guarantee that they buy anything. Oh, and the best part is you might not even be allowed access to this list of 10,000 customers. There's a consumer privacy policy that has to be reviewed by a judge in court seeing if you're even allowed to have it. Number two, that list of social media influencers' emails is worth nothing. This influencer list of approximately a thousand names is worthless because unless you were gonna offer any of those people money, there's no way they would be willing to work with you for anything. And spoiler alert, you could literally find that information in people's Twitter bio. It's fucking comical that they even put that in this slot because big surprise, if you wanted to get a content creator's email address, you could literally check their anything. <laughs> The reason being is because we want sponsors, and so we put our business emails on everything. Now, some of you might think, oh no, Chris, that's their personal email, not their agency's email, so that makes it more valuable. No, it fucking doesn't. An agency is not a goalie that is protecting companies from getting better deals by talking directly with the content creator. As a matter of fact, if you email me directly and try to lowball me for any sponsored deal, I will reply to you with five times your initial asking rate. Number three, the outstanding $20,000 that is owed from soft giving is exceptionally questionable. You might think at first glance that this lot is worth at least that much money, but it's not actually guaranteed. The reason is when you work with a company, even one of these weird fundraise for charity middlemen that allow you to take a percentage of what you fundraise for afterwards, you need to invoice the company. There is no guarantee that Artesian ever invoiced for the owed amount. And sometimes these contracts have a clause in it where if you, the content creator, do not properly invoice the company within the allotted time specified in the contract, you are not owed anything. And so what I'm trying to say is that the entire lot three of intangibles might only be worth the meme of owning artesianbuilds.com. I would buy artesianbuilds.com because then I could put in a YouTube video, I bought artesianbuilds.com. <laughs> if that's worth it to you, go bid on it or contact the winner of the auction. Anyways, I found this public auction interesting, so I will leave a link to it in the description as well as a link to my Twitch stream in case you want to come over and share your thoughts on it. Okay, see you later. Bye.